What is going on guys welcome back to the python tips and tricks tutorial series in today's video we're going to learn about different ways to find the most frequent value in a list or collection in python so let us get right into it so as always we're going to start with a dump way of doing things in order to realize why it's important to use the intelligent way and we're first going to create a list here with a couple of values here one two three four one two one one two three two two four two three two one two two, two, one, one, three, four, for example, I think two should be the most frequent value in here. And the question is, if we don't know that, or if the list is 10 times longer, uh, or 100 times longer, how do we figure that out in an efficient way? Now let's go for the dump way first. And it's a very intuitive way, what would you do, you would set a current maximum uh, of occurrences, like the maximum is not the maximum uh, value of the list, like in terms of the highest value in the list, or the greatest value in the list but the um, maximum amount of occurrences. And it starts with zero because we start at the lower, uh, at the bottom of this number, so it can't get lower than zero because you cannot appear less than zero times. You cannot appear minus one times, for example, you can just appear zero times or above that. So we're going to start that with zero and then we say current value equals none because we're going to set the first value inside of the iteration. What we're going to do now is we're going to say for x in my list, so for each number, we're going to say if my list dot count x, so how many times does x occur in that list, if that number is larger than the current maximum, we're going to set the current maximum to this new value here. And we're going to set um, the current value to the actual value x. Now, as you can see, this is very, very inefficient, because what we do here is we check for one, then we see, okay, one occurs, how many times it occurs, okay, we save that in the current maximum, then we do the same thing for two, for three, for four, and then we do the same thing for one, for two, for one, for one, for two, so we always get the same results, because we don't have a way of, like, you know, you don't know if the next number already occurred or not, so of course you can cache them, you can save them in a list or something, uh, but actually, this is a very inefficient way. It works. We're going to see that it works because we're just going to say print uh, f string, and now we're going to say uh, value is essentially just a current value. So the one that appeared the most often, and then we're going to say occurrences. I hope I don't have a typo here, to be honest, because I'm not a native speaker. And then we're going to go with current max. And if we run that, we should see that probably two is the most frequent number. Yeah, value two occurs 10 times. Now we can change that by adding a bunch of ones, for example, then one should be the most frequent value. As you can see, one occurs 16 times. So this is a very primitive and uh, intuitive way. I think it's easy to understand why it works, but it's very inefficient. Now we're going to look at more intelligent solutions. So the first alternative that we're going to look at is called the counter class. I'm going to say from collections import counter. And after that, we're going to say counter equals counter focused on my list. So we're going to pass my list as a parameter here in the constructor. And this means that we have created this counter object that we don't really know a lot about yet. Uh, and this counter object is focused on my list. Now the counter object has a couple of uh, methods that we can call here, but we're actually only interested in the most common method. As you can see, it says list the n most common elements and their counts from the most common to the least. If n is none, then list all element counts. So in this case, it means that if I call the most common method, I can pass a parameter n and it says how many most frequent values am I interested in. So for this tutorial, we wanted to find the most frequent value, which means I want the one most frequent value, which is why I pass one. Now, the thing is that this function returns a list of tuples. And these tuples have uh, in the zeroth index, so in the first position, the actual value, that is the most frequent one. And in the second position, so in the first index, we have the actual frequency. So how many times they occur, we can go ahead and print that here. So you can see what this uh, structure look like uh, looks like here, we have uh, actually let me clear console real quick, I'm going to run that again. 
we have 2 and 10 here because 2 is the most frequent value and 10 is the frequency. Uh, actually, if I pass 3 here, for example, we're going to see the three most frequent values. So we have 2 occurs 10 times, 1 occurs 7 times, and 3 occurs 4 times. Um, but actually, we're only interested in 1 here and 1 value. But as you can see, we have a list of tuples. Even if it's just one tuple, we still have a list of tuples. So we need to unpack that. And in order to do that, we're just going to say 0. So index zero, and then we're going to get the tuple itself. Now, depending on which value you're interested, you have to specify uh, another index here in the second bracket here, or in the second square brackets here. So either you're interested in the actual value, which is index zero, so you get two as the most frequent value, or you're interested in the frequency. So you pass one and you get 10 because of the frequency. Of course, you can also go ahead and say, I don't know, uh, we're just going to call it x now, x equals counter, dot most common and one and then you say zero here and then you can use an f string in order to format that in the way we did before so you can say okay value is just x zero and the actual frequency is um, x one this is also something that you can do and you'll end up with the same thing value two, frequency 10. So this is how you can use the counter class in Python in order to figure out what the most frequent value is. So last but not least, we're going to look at how to find the most frequent value using the max function and the max function what it actually does is usually you just go ahead and say print max my list. And of course, it's going to give you four because four is the largest value. And this is what the max function does. Uh, because by default, it just looks at the largest value. However, it has a parameter that is optional that you can specify here called key. And the key is essentially uh, when you specify the key parameter here, you tell the max function what it's going to choose as a metric. So right now it's just going for the biggest number. But if you specify something else, like the number of occurrences, for example, um, you're going to get a different result. So in this case, it says four because four is the largest number. But if I pass my list dot count as a key here, what happens is that it uses this function as a criteria. So if I just run this, I'm going to get two here, because what it does is it takes all the values here and feeds them into the count function and gets the maximum value. Now you might say this is the same problem that we had in the first example. It's doing that for each value multiple times. It does that for one and then it does that for one again later on and again and again. Uh, this is true. So this would also be inefficient, but we can combine it with another function here, which is the set function. The set function, what it does is, is it essentially transforms a collection into a set, which means that it uh, removes duplicate values. So let's just go ahead, comment that out for a second and apply the set function. We can go ahead and say set my list. And what this does, of course, is it gets us one, two, three and four. So we don't have any duplicate values here which means that if I do the same thing, but I don't pass my list, but I say set my list as an input, but I'm still performing the count method on the actual my list. So I'm not performing the counting on the set because there I only have each value once. I'm doing the counting in the actual list, but I'm using set my list as an input here. So each number only once, uh, then I get the same result, but I also get, um, but I get it far more efficiently. And of course, I can also go ahead and just uh, after I get the result. So after I save the most frequent value here, let's just do that. Let's say most frequent frequent equals max set whatever. Uh, and then what we do is we just say um, frequency. If we're interested in that, we can just go ahead and say my list dot count most frequent again. And then we can go ahead and print without formatting now, most frequent and the frequency. Then we get two and 10, as you can see. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel and you hit the notification bell to not miss a video in the future. Uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.